Hey everybody, this is Shifali Bagga and I am with the greatest of all times, Wasim Akram and Bravo. <laughs> and we are here for the trophy launch event for International League T20, whose tagline is "A League Apart." So I have this innovative thing yeah. in my hand. So you have played with the ball for over and over years, especially in UAE. Yeah. And cricket is something which defines you. How do you think this innovation has added up in the history and the present of cricket now? I think this is something very different. This is something very new. This is a chip in this ball. And I believe they use this same ball uh, in CPL although DJ doesn't know that he <laughs> used this particular ball. With with chip in it uh, you can download an app in a long run. Mm-hmm. And as a spectator, mm-hmm. but for us commentators, and I think he can explain afterward as a present cricketer, mm-hmm. can can it make a difference? But I think as a commentator, I'll be able to see the swing, the pace of the pitch, pace you know from the air as well, and of course then the spin, yeah. how much it spins. That's something very new, and that's I think is need of the art. Technology yes. is going so fast, and I think uh, this will eventually help the coaches and the captains as well. I don't know about the bowlers, but they will definitely <laughs> help the coaches. What do you think, DJ? Mm-hmm. Well, I definitely hope it helps the bowlers, uh, <laughs> but I must say I think the direction that cricket is going now and it, the way it evolves, um, something like this definitely will come in handy. Yes. Um, there's so many things going in the favor of batsmen now, so it's good to mm-hmm. see that something that um, you for know, the bowlers. something for the bowlers. Uh, we were. It wasn't skillful enough. Like the, <laughs> the, I think in our days, what how you used to, how we used to judge swing. Uh, as a bowler, I used to bowl two, three deliveries, and I could gauge. Okay, this is how much going to swing on this particular pitch, and then I can settle according to that. But with this, I think. When I go back after the game, I, I can see the data okay. and I can actually, for the next game on the similar pitch, I'll understand how to start off with. So that's yeah. again something, like I said, exciting. Yes. Tell me something, Bravo. You will be playing with this ball yeah. and this will obviously help you with some insights to manage your team as well. Yeah, definitely. Because um, each team, we all have our analysts now travel with us. And as I said, the data is very important. And, and the feedback and the information that the ball will give you after each game, it can also prepare you for the next game and moving forward in the tournament. So again, it's it's good. Um, even though I played with it last season, I wasn't even aware because yeah. um, you know, for me as a as a as a bowler, um, if you give me an apple, mm. I will make it work. That's just all my <laughs> thinking, you know. So DJ, uh, sorry, Shivali, asking one question: yeah. How important is data nowadays? All these top leagues have you played or international cricket? Do captains look into it? Yeah, I think data is very important because um, you need to know exactly what is required. Um, you know, the, those information is very crucial for captain, for coaches, also for players. You know, we have a lot of team meetings, and that's again when you have analysts they, and they analyze the batsman, they analyze the opposition. Um, data is what they rely on. Yes, you know. and also for the players, uh, Wasim sir, it is also important for the uh, new generation as well, which will be our introduction of this ball in the league is also for all the youngsters who are looking forward. I think this is going to catch on. Yes. Like I said, this is something new, this is something exciting and this is something useful. It's not there for the sake of being there. And I think this data will be very useful, like I said, for us coming for, for television production wise as well, or even as a coach, even as a skipper, for matchups, uh, for, for reading the pitch. Yes, and we're glad to be a part of the league where we are using this ball, this innovation, uh, and we can call it a revolution, which uh, IELT20 is giving to all the viewers as well. Bravo, you'll be playing in this league. Tell me something about the league. Are you excited to be a part of this? Yeah, definitely. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, even when they announced the, 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 the tournament officially and when the teams were selected, I wish the tournament was starting a week later. But we have to wait until obviously 2023 in January. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I enjoy playing here in UE and um, for my fellow teammates and colleagues as well, are really looking forward to this tournament. Um, it's a trophy, definitely. I will want to win, be in the first tournament. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. All the very best for it, and uh, sir, your opinion about this league? You will be commenting. Yeah, it's with it's, us. it's really about time. 
Dubai is a cricket uh, kind of a, a hub. hub now. Yeah. Uh, Pakistan had used this ground for 10 years as their home ground. Sharjah, yes. Abu Dhabi, Dubai. When I started playing cricket, Sharjah was huge, massive. Mm. It was twice a year calendar. And I think it's about time they should start their own league. And Dubai have a habit of putting this, uh, uh, this huge spectacle. Mm. And I think with this, um, uh, this uh, international uh, league, will be a massive spectacle and people uh, from all over the world, expats, they all live here and Dubai is the destination and a cricket destination now. Definitely, we are all looking forward to this and bravo, what a conversation when both of you were standing right next to me. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.